Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris with the Federation Expansion. I love how we've got basically like half the galaxy kind of discovered at this point. And I'm also happy the Zorg Swarm is so far away from me. As far as I know, all the other species we've found are random ones. This is one of mine over here. I wonder actually, how do they adapt the preset race? Pre yeah, preposterous unification, right, which is the default, so that kind of makes sense for how they updated the race. I may have to make another pass at uh, tweaking my existing ones, we'll see. All right, borders open, hooray! Construction ship hanging out over here. Boo-ish, no, that's fine. Um, a bunch of people have just complained about, I think, running out of exploration stuff. Um, Technology discovered. You can't really assist research yet, but I guess start planning on doing that, we'll see. Our destroyer tech is in place, that's nice. And yeah, these are all the fleet orders canceled. Gas wells, a star hold. The hangars are kind of fun. I think what we'll do is we'll grab the geothermal fracking now. Because we've got, you know, a quarter of it already researched. And that's a decent little boost. Mostly it means we can sell more minerals. Which actually I think I will do now. And I think I will go and make a big purchase of alloys. They're slightly above their baseline price. But that's not so bad. We'll do one big purchase. Have a bunch accumulated. We're ready to go. We have some options. Discovered. Colonial centralization. Oh, there's our planetary capital. Very nice. Leader's lifespan is really good because you keep those high level leaders a lot longer. We don't really need farming subsidies, although theoretically it could just be effectively more money. Getting rid of these tile blockers would be good. Um, tell you what, I'm going to grab the energy siphon just because it's going to annoy me that it's there. I don't think it's useful right now, so it's a really dumb thing to research right now, but it's okay. Um, diplomatic weight from tech goes up. Research station output goes up. I'm totally going to support it. Sounds great to me. Um, see, diplomatic weight from economy. I guess because it hurts your economy. But I'm actually worried that maybe I shouldn't support this. Because it does hurt a lot of where my weight is going to come from. I don't know. Recycling is good. It's good for the galaxy. What the hell? We gotta, we gotta be ready for the next big disaster. Maybe that's the, the true lessons we've learned from this ring world, right? That occasionally, maybe, you know, every few tens of thousand years, there's a giant... Okay, this is okay. Um, there's a giant, uh, some sort of disaster, a crisis, if you will, uh, that threatens to end the game of life in the galaxy. And so we are having to... We've learned more and more of it as we've uncovered more things in the ring worlds, as well as other excavation sites, maybe. Um, what am I going to do with you? Yeah, this is still blinking because it's... Asteroid listing post available. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, as we've done, done the ring world and done some of our archaeology, we're starting to learn that there's there's more dangers in, out there than we even imagine that anyone in current living galactic memory has imagined. We may have the only people with the records of this. Again, feeling very sort of a Mass Effect, right? It's like, oh no, the Reapers are just a myth. There's no such thing. Don't don't be silly. Uh, we can merge these two fleets together now, and uh, for the fleet manager, we'll actually be like, um, oh, let's redesign our destroyer. At least do this. So yeah, we get the hope. Um, the hope. This is sort of like the shield. And nothing aggressive. Very, very explicit that we're being defensively minded here. Let's get rid of the old blueprint. Boom. Um, yes to the new power plant. And I don't think we've got... Oh, we do have the slightly improved sensors. Um, early game, I like to go with, yeah, just, just basically the small guns here. Because these are going to be more accurate at shooting the little corvettes and things. And we will still keep going with lasers for now because of if we're fighting just generic space monsters, no shields, these do better. And otherwise, everything's kind of the same. Shield, 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 armor, armor, uh, reactor boost not needed. You're okay there. All right, we're going to save this design. Not really very indicative of what our final design should be, but there you go, the shield class. We'll do something like that. We don't need to build it right now. The earlier you build it, the more just passive maintenance you end up paying. So, you know, it's not always what you want to do. Done, and construction ships. Right, okay, so you did that. 
which is fine. And then you're going to go there. And then the other construction ship is there. And then this one, excellent, is going here, where there is going to be a planet. We do need extra naval capacity more than anything else. That's the other reason not to build ships right now. Calling development speed, that is handy. Um, okay. We want to get all the hyperlane tech so that we can eventually get... Uh, well, I was going to say wormhole. We don't really have wormholes, but eventually the... Um, the gateway tech, but that is kind of far away. I think it's probably worth grabbing a few basics. Starting with the basic combat rolls, and then maybe like the FDL inhibitor if it comes up. Borders closed. Womp womp. Election underway. That's fine. I'm not going to spend any influence tweaking that. Um, we do have some spare influence. Fix shift. Land of opportunity. Immigration. Pull and growth. L. Once we get the other planets down, it actually probably is worth doing a cycle of that. It would cost us all of our influence. Updated. But we don't actually have to rush to grab the rest of these sites. Ah, we still might want to finish everything before we do that. Long yeah, I think updated. that's kind of fair. Dun dun dun. How are you going over here? Uh, science ship, no orders? Oh, Construction okay. complete. Uh, research the project. And then start on the excavation site, please. And over here, we will colonize you with the Figyar, since they're only people happy to do it. And I'm going to stop renaming the planets, probably. Well, it's the last one. I'll get us to think once we arrive. Let's see. It's an ocean world with no unique traits again. You know what I never did? In my oh, no, no. Let's say I didn't. I never cleared the blocker that's got the extra population boost, but that's not any of that. We actually did clear all the blockers on this planet. That's going to be okay. We'll have to check the other frontier one soon. Borders open. Hooray. Ruler elected. All right. That's fine. Surface and there. Because you may as well connect that and then come over here and do this. Thank you very much. There you go. Stop tracking. You were going there. Okay. Just all the blinking was kind of driving me crazy. No, 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 no. Still got to clear this. Yes, indeed. Doing some assist research. Um, actually, we are doing assist research here. Yes. And then we have the extra ship that is going to hang out. I know. Oh, go complete. to this system. Archaeological find. Another relic. We still don't have, or we have artifact rather. We don't have a relic yet. That's done. You're hooking that up. We'll do that one as well at some point. Technology discovered. Geothermal fracking for a mining boost. It's nice. It's not a big deal. Ion thrust. Oh. Pause. <clears throat> Democratic Lyrites want to declare war on the June. It would be so much better if they just joined us, but that can't happen. Well, it can't happen now, and things don't get along. <laughs> We do border them. I mean, uh, actually, we border them from here, here. Hmm. We could slap down some claims and everything, too. Equivalent strength. No defensive packs. I think, actually, we'll accept it. Which feels, it just feels mean and rude. Yeah, let's get these Iron Thrusters. I mean, it's purple, it's Elgate. This is all very exciting. And normally it'd be a no-brainer. But we do actually need to get some ship improvements a little. Um, let's go, we'll upgrade you. Oh, you're going to move to there to upgrade. Then move out. Um, maybe what we'll do is we'll move you to here. I'm going to upgrade the starboard. We'll have to build a shipyard there too, but it'll be okay. Yeah, got an upvote over there. All right. Okay. And we don't have enough for a second one, but we can put at least one claim. War has broken out. All right, head on out. Uh, maybe I actually could have not accepted right away, just to get my ships into a better position first. Uh, that is not really strong enough to push forward there, AI. Hope you don't screw this up for us. Construction complete. Construction complete over there. Let's get those going. That's fine. You're still over there, which is okay. Research agreement with the Figyar. Sounds great to me. Let's 
Senate floor is in session. All right, we're now voting on our first resolution. So the Cooperative Research Channels had enough support to be there. Galactic recycling is coming soon. Buzzword standardization. Um, this improves diplomatic weight from economy, and we get trade value. Yep, sounds great to me. The readied shield. So, no. I'm going to say no to this. Because why do we want people to have bigger fleets right now? Uh, although, readied shield, right? The giant space disaster thing in the end. Ooh, if we're following our story, this sort of makes sense, doesn't it? People can have bigger fleets, and we reward people with bigger fleets by recognizing their strength. Economy. Oh, galactic market. Yeah, of course, we totally support that. Um, Pop-wise, this is actually a big source of things, and increases worker happiness. More political power, but our people are happy. There's, I don't see why we wouldn't do that. Guardian Angels Act. Boost defensive army morale while decreasing weight from d fleet power. I'm actually going to support this. Because it sounds like, it still sounds like, you know, military, you know, doomsday prepper kind of situation. But without rewarding the strongest people. I mean, at some point later it'll be a thing, but no, I like it. I think it fits our story right now, which is the point. Rassian homeworld located. Contact the nearest science ship. Apps of freaking lootly. Um, and then annoyingly, it doesn't... Uh, the, the event doesn't show you properly where it is. Iras. Oh, right there. I was going to say, it's going to be connected to basically our little world here. So let's survey that right away, please. I think the Rassian is just a rich system. Where there's a lot of resources for us to do. Um... Wait, did I accidentally build two colony ships? That sounds like something I would do. Colony founded. Oh, the colon holy shit, I didn't realize it. The colony ship for Ennui got built here. Well, rather than deconstruct it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this. No. Immediately that way. There you go, shift click that way. I doubt it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. Oh, right, of course. Because I forgot to change your stance, so cancel it out. All right, we'll give it a try. Probably you're dead, but that's the price I'm willing to pay. Let's get some science ships up in this direction so that we are going to be in a situation to um, check out debris. Click moving there, map the stars is done, and a bunch of the others. So we're not going to run map the stars again, but I will do education, recycling, healthcare. That seems smart. Uh, we could always trigger some of these buttons too, but mm, not right now. Plants okay, you've got a slot. You've got this. I'm going to go for the upgrade on that. Nothing else needs to happen. Hodius, you're building up. Under fire. Where are we being attacked? Oh, may I guess I put the construction ship construction through. Ship and they launched. are clearly... Yeah, that is what I'd queued up. Um, the last one. And they are clearly under attack. Colony ship, just halt. Stay there. Construction. Don't do complete. anything else. Construction ship here. Build a mining station, I guess. And then, I don't know. Do this. And then we'll get you to Aras after. You've arrived here. We need to make sure now that you've got a shipyard. Ah, they built a station here. Okay. We'll request some destroyers to be built from wherever. It's not going to be built here, but that way this there's nothing in the queue here. And uh, we'll be able to do upgrades once that completes. Here, you got this, you got that. You want the off-world trading company. You over here have nothing yet. You have the shipyard, which is going to have to be good enough. Um, actually, get an anchorage for some naval capacity. Yes. Don't build them too often. I probably should build them more. But, okay, a scientist died. Society researcher, currently doing biology. And oh, we have some extra dudes kicking around. Yeah, you're busy doing that. Let's just see if there's a maniacal survey speed, anomaly chance. Uh, they're not as relevant anymore, so I'll just grab this one. At least you've got a little bit of XP. 
And tradition's available, so we are going to still go to finish this. Here, we'll grab the base trade protection. I don't know. Colony ship, right? She doesn't do anything. And you were here, nearly done. Construction Reinforcements in transit. Complete. Scientist died, that's okay. All right, you can now upgrade here, which is nice. So one of the changes in the 2.6 patch is the reinforcements here. Used to be you do the mass reinforcements, you string a little corvettes all running around here and then getting murdered part of the way through. Now the ships go into lost in state, space state while they're reinforcing, which keeps things a little cleaner. Um, 50 was chance of some terraforming. Or we just get the science on Iris. I actually don't know what the odds of this are. Are they 50-50? Stellaris Grimma Sing. Predetermined upon anomaly cre completion. Um, grimacing, grimacing, grimacing. So just study does things or will have its credits. Roughly 50% chance. It says. You know what? We don't need another colony. We'll just take the science. Because we have, we have a few. It's going to be okay. Oh, dug up some of stuff. Rune world. Massive dilapidated structures cover the entire surface of the world. At one time, the city planet must have been home to billions. Now it's empty. Whoever once lived here must have left clues uh, about what happened to them. But finding them will take dedicated examination of the surface. So this is our excavation, I believe. It doesn't say the planet name somewhere. Well, it probably does somewhere. But it is the, the relic system. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Okay, nothing could construct over here. We may as well grab this system, otherwise piracy will start to be an issue at some point. Hotus, you're just chilling there, which is okay. We got a 1k fleet here. Starbase is about 500, and is actually a fairly easy kill most of the time. So we'll go ahead and take that. And we can have this be a, our new sort of forward base as well Technology at the same time. Discovered. Um, we're going to probably, well, we're going to want a double trade hub here. I'm going to build one trade hub level for now to get this. We'll want a second one for that. Double science just finished. I meant to click to see what we actually got, but I guess that's okay. Shields, research. Well, this is pretty cheap to get the shield, the, the research boost. The next shield tech would be nice, but I think we can wait. Uh, more diplo tech. I don't think we need to rush it. Starbase capacity. Uh, we've got a couple left. No, we'll just take the, the research boost. I think that's a good investment because none of those things are things we needed instantly. Landfall has been established. That's awesome. And yes, we're going to engage in combat here with the space station. Right over here. The Erassian Headquarters. Erassia, former homeworld of the Erassian Concordate, somehow has relatively recently, within the last 2,000 years, gone through the trouble of systemically bombarding every square meter of the moon's surface from orbit, possibly misguided attempt to keep the Javorian pox from resurfacing. Despite this, the surface is still covered in the fossilized remains of the billions of Erassians who succumbed to the plague in the final years of their empire. By the time... This is way too coronavirus-y. Jesus. By the time it had spread to their homeworld, most of the worlds in the Erassian Concordate had already fallen, and their alien vassals were in open revolt. Judging by the ancient satellite logs recovered from orbit, the mood among the population in the Erassian homeworld was largely resigned by this point. The widespread panic that accompanied the first outbreaks of the Pox the Colonies largely absent as most had come to accept the fact that the end was drawing near. Relic found Javorian Pox sample. So we get some artifacts, we get a bunch of science and different things. Uh, minor artifact action unlocked secrets of the Erassians. Zap, zap, zap. Oh, and the Rack Rack regime want a commercial pact? Of course. So, um, oh, we can finish diplomacy. So Naval Federation Naval Capacity, and it's fine, but completing this gives us the increased trust cap, and of course another Ascension perk. Now, Technological Ascendancy, really good. Mastery Nature is pretty good, too. Administrative Capacity, Transcendent Learning, uh, not the Shared Destiny, Grasp of the Void for more star bases. Um, I think we have to grab the Technological Ascendancy. I think at this point we can explain it that we're we've unlocked more and more secrets from the the ring world learning more and more tech and it's going to give us a bit of an edge so an increased research speed and a greater chance of finding rare technologies i have no idea what our sort of late game Survey. tech choices might be oh next level federation has been unlocked hooray and yes we have a relic so first of all secret of the rassins cost 50 uh and it's a special project okay we can also run the javorian pox sample so, by having this, just period, our leader lifespan is increased by 20 years, which is huge. And yeah, turn this on enables us to start doing pox orbital bombardment, which presumably kills people real fast. Um, that's not a very exciting thing that we're looking for. Let's celebrate diversity. Who gives us uh, unity? And xenophile ethics attraction. Let's actually run that. 
We could make money. Yeah, we're already running this. Yeah, it's a decision on the planet. Elgate Insight. Yeah, we're not going to run this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click this to hide that. But yes, Federation unlocked. More naval capacity. Oh. So do we actually have to... Do we... Oh, so we just get all these. Period. Oh. Send a second envoy over here. Yeah, this, I don't know. Here's the thing. From a min-max point of view, I don't think it works. Not until we build ourselves a giant fleet and therefore get more strength. I think we have to say yes. Our entire thing is this theme of the ready shield and things. We'll go ahead and support that. Right now, we're supporting everything. But it's pretty easy to do, I suppose. That one decision isn't good for us to develop more political strength, but otherwise. Construction complete. Luckily, you can't really miss the starbase. Yeah, new Federation perks are now active. All right, and we're being insulted by some people. Survey, survey. Reinforcements and transit. Oh, I guess we didn't actually even have the whole fleet together yet. Including none of the new destroyers. But this seemed mostly okay. I think we've lost a Corvette. May have just run, yeah, right over here. Because we had 19 and it's down to 18. But it's it's not destroyed, it's just run away. Done and done. So we'll be able to repair here. Nope. Halt. We gotta wait for this to flip. I think that symbol will change to green once it's properly counting and repaired. There. Now it's green. Uh, well, I guess I still can't build that. Oh, that's too bad. So I can tell these guys to repair here, but they'd still have to back up to get the upgrades. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and back up to get the upgrades then. That's fine. And these places are being occupied by my allies, which is really nice. Maybe I'll go for Aventir. Uh, oh, and right, we do have some debris. So, um, we got a science ship over here. We got many science ships. We'll send one of them forward to research that. Check the debris in that system. Construction ship over here. Let's build the mining and research stations, and then we'll, uh, I don't know, we'll move over there. But yeah, we're hurting a little for influence. Boop to boop. Yeah, still can't auto explore anything, which is fine, I guess. You're coming over here. We still have new uh, destroyers being built, they're heading towards us. And yeah, we'll upgrade a few things to the latest and greatest. Oh, they want to sign a piece. Oh, okay. I guess that happened. We did take this system, and these guys are cut off, which is great. Lovely. You know, I like the Federation stuff, because obviously it's, it's stopping me from going all-out war, and min-max with my war, and taking all the things for myself. It does feel kind of nice and communal. Um, I want to tear one of these down. I think I'll leave this one. Uh, I'm going to replace it with a second trade hub so it can pick up that. And you'll want an off-world trading company. Maybe I will leave this one then for now and just make sure you've got a shipyard up on the front. Because there's probably going to be a follow-up war, I bet. Because clearly we're not going to get along here. You're doing that. Ooh, landfall. Okay, so you're in place. We need to make a new sector, first of all. We need to get ourselves a governor. Building speed, research, blockers. Now oh, we can take the, the building sort of improvement. And actually, you're a uh, frontier here Initiating as well. Communications. Sorry, what did you want? <sighs> Just, it, what? I don't know why clicking on the window didn't bring it to the forefront. Yes, you can have a commercial pact with me. Jeez, all right. Second sector. Stuff's pretty far apart, but that's going to have to be okay. I guess we'll take the younger tile blocker person. And speaking of tiles, oh yeah, it's complaining because it literally can't build the generator district right now. Um, I don't know if any of these oh, dense ruins, jeez. Unblock solar arrays. Oh man, there's so many different things. I don't know, we're going to want to unlock them all. Here, let's start on a couple. Ooh, look at all the research. Holy crap, that's really nice. All right, jobs and housing are okay. Uh, it's a little tight over here, although once you do get the five pops, we'll be able to just get another building. What I'm going to do is I will start an energy district there, though, just to get it going a little bit. And yeah, clear those out as well. That's going to be all right. Still got the colony ship. Research agreement with the June Trade Union. So the people I was just at war with... 
we are friendly with them. So we'll keep relationships going, and then we'll go to war with them. And then relationships, and then war some more, probably. All right, we can't really live without the FTL too long, because there, if there is a war and people can just bypass my stuff, it becomes very problematic. So we can't have that happen. I guess I should probably just trash this colony ship and just manually build one over here. This is a ocean world. Ocean world. There. Okay. That's for the best. We could use a little bit of anti-sprawl stuff, but right now we're Construction okay. Construction complete. Construction ship over Degree here. Analyze. Uh, analyze. Not not very much value, but I guess it's a thing. And you can move over that way. That's done there. Construction no auto explorer to be done, so yeah, our science ships are gonna go back to being idle. You're still assisting research. You're assisting research over there. And oh, you're excavating, and then we'll research. Then we'll assist research on surface after, or rather, on landfall in the surface system. So we're a little over our naval capacity, complete. despite having a little bit of the extra modules to, you know, the anchorages here. I guess it's going to have to be. Um, you may as well just have a resource silo, since there's no maintenance for that. We'll just fill in the gap with that. And then you currently don't have a trade route actually assigned, because we claimed you, so we've now set that. Those are all being filled, which is good. Construction ship here in CAF, you can probably go and claim that. Construction ships are otherwise okay. Do another round of upgrades here. Oh, you're going to go there. Oh, right, because I trashed the shipyard. Therefore, confusing this guy a little bit. Um, and actually, we can go down to another Corvette and bring up another destroyer over there. Awesome. Okay. And yeah, it was tight here, but we'll remove some things. No, nope, I'm alright. Okay. Construction complete. Construction complete. Let's go and hook those up. Yeah, so we're protecting the exclaves, I guess. We should still have the deal with the science. Um, we may want to talk to the artist to get some unity. If we hide the... There we go. Uh, artist troops. Uh, we should become your patron. Ten-year program. Thousand bucks, giving us some more monthly unity. We should also commission an art piece to build... Let's say here. Um, which is somewhere in here, right? Or is it a decision? Construction. Exhibit art complete. monument. That's what it is. Time to enact gives us amenities and immigration pool. Actually, then, let's do it on landfall. Well, okay. This has 100% habitability. I guess we'll want it on both, maybe, in the end. Yeah. Because I'm like, everyone can live on landfall as well, because of the relic world, everyone's got 80%. So we probably want both art things. Um, I don't know if there's a cooldown if we have to wait. Oh, all right. No, we can do it right away. Awesome. So yeah, decision. Uh, we'll encourage planetary growth here as well. Technology um, discovered. There you go. Art museum. Planetary growth is a go. We still have the bonus food policy. Ion thruster is very good for moving our ships around faster and having more dodge. Speaking of dodge, though, let's get the afterburners going because this gives huge life to our Corvettes. Actually, do we just want to stay on Corvettes forever? It's, like, it's vaguely abusable. I don't usually do it. I like to go with, like, a balance configuration because it just feels less cheesy. But, and it's not always perfect. There's, there's, the game balances keep shifted. I don't actually know if Corvettes actually are currently the god king of everything. Generally speaking, as you level up, you just, like, build the biggest ships you can. But at a certain point, you've got to, like, decide on a, on a bit more of a specific doctrine, I guess. Still very worried about these guys in the north. Very worried. Oh, and I forgot. Um, we've got more systems that we can claim. Where are you? Construction ship? Or no, that's a colony ship. I'm going to colonize that. Um, the ocean world. I don't know. It's the Great Sea. You guys have nothing. Okay. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll go and colonize over there. We have to we have to actually claim Eris as well. This probably should have been a higher priority than some of these. Okay, cooperation research thing. That's fine. Anything else pending? Nope, we're good. Close that on that. Construction complete. 
Yeah, I mean, we're here. We may as well finish all that. Plus, they're half-decent systems. I mean, I would be a little happier maybe if there was more science, but we'll take it. There we go. Yet more upgrades. 1.4. So, yeah, we might be able to take these guys a little piecemeal, because we're not going to be fighting all of them instantly right away, but I think I'd want at least a 3k fleet, if not a 4 to go for that, because it's 6k worth of things. Although, again, I don't think they're going to attack all at once. And if we... They are mining drones, I think. I mean, it doesn't say here. Hiver Nest, but I don't think they have shields. So, yeah, as long as we get go the laser tech route, we'll be okay. Although, we're still in, like, level 1 lasers, I think. But, speaking of considering more ship designs, we'll grab the cool fusion, cold fusion reactors now, because we'll need that. I mean, the plus 1 research alternative is obviously fairly nice, but we already have one. Right? We've gone from 3 to 4 already, so a 33% boost from the start. Another would still be nice. After that, there really doesn't tend to be much need for that many alternatives. But it is helpful early on. Especially if you go hunting for the rares. Ooh, diggy diggy hole. The ruined world! Once an entrance to the data center had been found and passed force. Shush. Forced through the wreckage, it was surprisingly easy to pause. Reactivate and, in and interface the computer system. Self-repairing circuits and learning algorithms quickly came online to restore limited functionality and communicate with our own computers. The reason for this quickly became clear. Uh, Landfall was once the capital of a machine empire known as the Omni Codex. Named after their driving purpose, the Omni were a hybrid of robot and cyborgs who had attempted to assimilate a sample of all biological life. Daddy? in the galaxy in order to prevent their extinction in an unknown galactic calamity. There we go. From the surviving records, we gathered that this was not popular with the other galactic powers of the era, and they were eventually defeated and destroyed by a combined attack by several of them. However, their down before their downfall, the Omni sampled many races, and much work was put into devolving a device which could recreate them if the need ever arose. This is like the Omni Codex itself. It's stored somewhere nearby. Yeah, I've done the Omni Codex before, actually, and it's really cool because it spawns new species. Uh, migration Treaty. Absolutely. Speaking of, how's our species count? So, these are how many species we have in our territory. Five, and potentially another one with the new migration treaty. Very excite. We're going to put a cut in here. It's a good time for it. I'm happy about that. We're finally going to colonize this place after a couple of boondoggles with our colonization trip ships. Um, but, you know, it's, so we spent some resources. I mean, who cares? It's only money. It's only government money. I like the fact that these guys are fractured here. That makes me feel pretty good. Um, if we grab these systems here... I mean, this ultimately would be a good trading hub, but right now it does sort of have to be a military factory. It does have the one trade module, so taking Umlitzer would be quite good because we'd get the three extra trade starting to kick in. we got a little bit of work to do internally still, but um, it's looking like a good little piece of land. And yeah, we stretch all the way down here. Not to be confused with the blues over here, which are just part of our, of our federation, which has grown a little bit there. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye-bye.